you think the media portrays a positive image of young people? At some extent, but then I must say, not as expected. Sometimes you notice that little or no attention is being given to covering the issues of young people, especially children. Most of the issues on the tablets and the news are more on politics, government, finances, and that of neglecting the younger generation who are the future leaders. So much needs to be done in order to pay more attention to the young people. And then even at time when young people are being featured, they are portrayed in some ways that is not that good. You know, the, the way the, 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 the markets, the issues of young people, we are just being tagged as that set of hooligans, mm -hmm. that set of uncultured people. We are a threat to society, we are creating all kinds of problems. These are the common stuff the media portray about young people. But then we have to change that perception. We have to transform that mind. That young people are not only troublemakers, but we are also peacemakers. We can make a change in society. Um, why do you think so many older people are fearful of young people? So many older people are fearful while they're scared of... Oh, uh, you know, it's, as I told you, the perception they, ha they, they have in them that young people are a threat to society. And then they feel interacting, connect with young people is a sort of creating some kind of troubles around the environment. Because the young people take drugs, young people are just any set of youth that can create problems with guns, you know, this crime that they can kill. Yeah. You know? So these are the things that the older people feel we cannot cohabit with the young ones because otherwise they will disrespect us. But this is not the case here. This is not any reason. There is no excuse for that. I think young people and the older people should be together. In, so. um, the media have focused a lot on young people wearing hoodies, uh, the hooded jackets. Um, do you believe personally that wearing a hood is antisocial? I don't think that. I don't believe in that. Because by law, I think we talk about equality freedom and that of um, openness to society there should not be any any distinction any barrier to to stigmatize young people because they are wearing things art or whatever it's just a way of dress it's a culture and then they should be let free to enjoy themselves and do things in a peaceful way and do you think that politicians listen to young people Yes, no. Yes, because the issues of young people sometimes are being treated because we have young people going to school education, health facilities. It's because they care about us, they listen to our concerns. That's why these things are happening. But then I would say no, because most of the cries, most of the things we are advocating for our campaigns are still yet not being addressed. We wanted to vote at the age of 16, we want to be portrayed well in the media, we want to get a voice even in policies, consultations, at parliament meetings, all these things, even at our local communities, meeting with parliamentarians, youth groups, children's groups, is not that effective. So we think the government must prioritize the issues of young people and according us the voice to say what we feel because we feel it we know it and we have to say